What if I told you there was a chewing gum or a mint that you could use every day that was going to stop you getting tooth decay and gum disease? And often your dentists don't recommend it to you. And I don't know why that is. Maybe they've forgotten about it or they don't think prevention's that important, even though they're constantly telling you to brush and floss. So what is this mint or chewing gum or specifically what's in it? Well, it's xylitol. Now, I'm going to tell you everything about xylitol today, what it is, where it comes from, why it helps prevent tooth decay and gum disease, and how you can use it. Xylitol is a natural thing. It's found in many fruits and vegetables, and our bodies even produce it in small quantities via our metabolic processes. We're going to talk about how xylitol boosts your dental health. Why would I, as a dentist, recommend you use xylitol? You can use it as a sugar-free gum or a mint, and I'm going to recommend it for a very good reason. And that is because studies have determined that xylitol boosts your dental health and it actually helps prevent tooth decay. Now, one of the re leading risk factors for tooth decay is an oral bacteria called Streptococcus mutans. And this is the bacteria that is responsible for building plaque on your teeth. Now, some plaque on your teeth is probably normal, but excess encourages your immune system to attack the bacteria in it, and that can lead to inflammatory gum disease and bleeding gums called gingivitis. Now, those bacteria feed on the glucose from food, but they can't use xylitol. If you replace sugar with xylitol, that reduces the available fuel for that harmful bacteria. And whilst they can't use xylitol, for fuel, they can still ingest it. And after absorbing it, they're unable to take up glucose, which means their energy producing pathway is clogged and they end up starving to death and dying. I know that seems a bit sad, but hey. In other words, if you use chewing gum with xylitol in or use it as a sweetener, the harmful bacteria in your mouth will starve to death and you're going to get less cavities and less gum disease. In one study, xylitol sweetened chewing gum reduced the levels of bad bacteria by 27 to 75 percent, whilst the friendly good bacteria levels remained constant. That's great. You want good bacteria, you don't want bad bacteria, and xylitol's killing the bad bacteria and leaving your good stuff behind. Animal studies have also suggested that xylitol may increase absorption of calcium in your digestive system, protecting against osteoporosis and strengthening your teeth. Human studies demonstrate that xylitol um, can reduce cavities and tooth decay by up to 85%. Because inflammation is at the root of many chronic diseases, Reducing plaque and gum inflammation could also have other benefits on the rest of your body as well. Gum disease is linked to things like heart disease, stroke, diabetes, cancers, dementia, um, rheumatoid arthritis, lung infections, all sorts of things. So if we can get that inflammation under control in your mouth, we're going to reduce inflammation in the rest of your body. Xylitol has also been reported to reduce yeast infections like oral thrush, caused by Candida albicans, which can lead to Candida infections. Xylitol reduces the yeast's ability to stick to the surfaces and therefore helps prevent infection. What other potential health benefits are there from taking and using xylitol? Well, collagen is the most abundant protein in your body and it's found in large amounts in your skin and your connective tissues and therefore your gums. Some studies in rats have said that xylitol increases production of collagen, which may help counteract the effects of aging on your skin, and it's also going to give you stronger and healthier gums. Xylitol also feeds the friendly bacteria in your gut, and it acts as a soluble fiber, and then it therefore improves your digestive health. That way you can absorb your minerals and nutrients better, and that's also going to lead to healthier teeth and gums. One word of warning, though, when it comes to xylitol. 
Xylitol is highly toxic to dogs. Yes, if your dog eats xylitol, their body mistakes it for glucose. They produce too much insulin and they can start absorbing glucose from their cells into their bloodstream. That can lead to hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, and even death. So never give anything containing xylitol to your pet pooch, no matter how much you love and adore them. So xylitol for your dental health. It can be found in chewing gums, lozenges, mouthwashes, and toothpaste. How does it work to reduce tooth decay and gum disease? Well, it feeds the good bacteria and it starves the bad ones and it helps rebalance or keeps the balance of your microbiome. It stops the bacteria from sticking to your teeth, which means it's easier to clean away and it kind of washes off your teeth when you brush and mouthwash. So you get less plaque, you get less tartar, and therefore you're less prone to cavities and gum disease that the nasty mouth bacteria are responsible for. So do you want to know how to use xylitol? Is this the bit you've been waiting for me to get to? Like, come on, Rachel, tell us how to use it. Well, here we go. Here is how you use it. The best and most effective way is to use frequent small amounts of xylitol after your meals and after you've had sort of sugary or acidic drinks. Use mints or gum and allow the mint to dissolve or crunch it up in your mouth. The gum just needs to be in your mouth for a few minutes until the xylitol is dissolved out of it and into your mouth and then the xylitol does its work. Within a second or two, you should notice that you have actually an increased flow of saliva coming into your mouth. Now, saliva is the healing liquid for your gums and teeth. It contains minerals and enzymes and proteins that repair your teeth and defend against bacteria and it also neutralizes acids which dissolve your teeth and make them porous. You need to give adequate time for the saliva to bathe your mouth undiluted and that means you're going to have no more food or drinks after you've had your xylitol. Xylitol stimulates your own saliva to do these things. It limits acidic damage caused by drinking coffee and other foods and drinks. It brings minerals to strengthen and heal your teeth. It brings immune cells to help heal your gums and keep the insides of your mouth healthy. You do not get this type of assistance with your dental health by adding xylitol to your water or coffee or baking it into cakes and cups cookies, you need to use the mints and the gums or at least minimum in a mouthwash. The oral health benefits come from having those couple of mints at the end of your meals and after drinks and stimulating that saliva flow. Then you need to try not to eat anything for about 30 minutes to an hour afterwards, not even a sip of water because we don't want to dilute that healing saliva. And now you know how xylitol works, but but, and here's the big but, not the one I'm sitting on, but if you're eating a poor diet, no amount of xylitol is going to be effective. So I'm sure you're going to want to watch this video to find out about how to eat to prevent and heal tooth decay.